in Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. The Bible says, But while men slept, his enemy came and saw tests among the wheat and went his way. Close your eyes. Shall this prayer point loud and clear. Say, any sin in my life that is making me to fail in God's work, O oh, mercy of God, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Destroy it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. Today's topic is 10 questions to ask when you have bad dreams. 10 questions to ask when you have bad dreams. One of the greatest problems of man is when he begins to have satanic attack in his dreams. There are big problems when you keep having bad dreams. There are many obstacles when a child of God is being visited by nightmares. Praise the living Jesus. Bad dreams always is a very serious spiritual disease. Many people's lives are being ruled by these demonic dreams. When they try their effort to cancel their dreams, the more they try it, the more that such dream resurfaces again. So, there are some dreams which children of God have been having that is raising so many questions, and yet, you doubt no answer. Many people have been depressed, confused, and frustrated in life over their dreams. I have seen a case of a person who had a dream, but since he did not know the interpretation of that dreams, in about three days later, the effect of that bad dreams begin to wage war against our destiny. I pray for you, any dream that you have been having since the day you were born until now, today shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you today, any power that is sowing evil tests into your life, in your sleep today, it shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. So the 10 questions to ask when you have bad dreams. Number one, what do nightmare mean? When you wake up from that dream, you begin to ask yourself, what do nightmare mean? Nightmares are scary dreams. Nightmare are demonic dreams. Nightmares are negative dreams. They are dreams that bring sorrow. They are dreams that bring troubles. They are dreams that introduce embargo. They are dreams that introduce shame and disgrace. They are dreams that makes a man not to end well. They are dreams that makes a person to be in one spot. They are dreams that trigger the spirit of lamentation. That is nightmare. You wake up from that dream and you have been asking this question, what do nightmare really mean? Why these nightmares? Why must I be having this nightmare in the first place? Number two questions you should be asking yourself when you have bad dreams is what are the causes of bad dreams? What are the causes of bad dreams? There are many causes in which a man or a woman could be having bad dreams. Ranging from sin, ranging from bad foundation, ranging from ancestral pollution and contamination, ranging from generational cause and covenant, ranging from personal and ancestral sin, ranging from anger and unforgiveness, ranging from satanic attack. So those are the causes somebody may be having bad dreams. You wake up from that dreams, you're asking the evangelist, I've been having these bad dreams. This bad dream has been tormenting my life. What are even the causes of these bad dreams in the first place? Sin, foundation. Because when you have sin in your life, it will open the doors of these bad dreams to come and so tears in your life. Just like the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 25, that the enemy come to sow tears into your life. So those are the causes. If you discover that you are having some of these causes, bad foundation, inherited battles, 
problems in your father's house, in your mother's house, or your, your lineage where you come from, it is only bad dreams. Anyone that is about to climb a ladder of success, a bad dream will come, will bring that person down. A bad dreams causes are, those are the causes that can bring a man down and that can make a man to be visited by this satanic nightmare. I pray for you. Any sin in your life that is, that is making you to be having bad dreams, that is activating nightmares, evil dreams in your life, today, by the mercy of God, it shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. It shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Number three questions to ask yourself when you have bad dreams is, does this dream come from God, Satan, or your emotion? When you come from that bad dreams, you ask this question. Does this question, does this dream come from God, Satan, your emotion? We all know that when dream comes from God, it brings peace. It brings joy. It brings inspiration. It brings exhortation. It brings encouragement. Because there are some dreams that come from above, that come from God, the beginning may be so bad, but the ending will, will be victory, will be testimony. So the dream from God will come with a powerful message, a positive message. A dream whereby you wake up from that sleep, you'll be saying, God, I thank you. Lord, I worship you, Lord. I claim the prophetic dreams. I claim the blessings of God behind these dreams. You begin to claim them. Praise the living Jesus. And the dreams from Satan, which is the book, which is taken from the book of John 10, 10. The dream from Satan, they are dreams that bring that comes with troubles, that comes with lamentation, that comes with sorrow and weeping, that comes with bad news, that comes with backwardness. There are dreams that during the process of that dreams, you'll be feeling pains, you'll be feeling worries about that dream, you'll be confused. You'll be frustrated. You'll be depressed. You wake up from that dream. It's like somebody comes to you and says, Ah, my sister, my brother. Ah, there's, some, there's one particular story I want to tell you. Even right from your face, it can easily tell that something is wrong with you. So that bad dreams, which is the seed, the enemy have come to sow tears into your life, they are the one that is manifesting, bringing sorrow, depression, bringing loneliness. I pray. Everything, every bad dream that the enemy is bringing on your way or the enemy have used to bring sorrow into your life. Today, there shall be good news in the name of Jesus. Every bad dream in your life will give way for good news in Jesus' name. And the dream from your emotion, the dream from man. Now you be wake up from that dream, you say, ah, where does this, this dream come from? Came from. Now it comes from your, the state of your mind, psychological aspect. You wait, before you slept, you have been having a particular dream. Recurring dream. So when you wake up from that dream, so that dream, based on what you are, the psychological effect you are before you sleep, you'll be having that kind of dream. So the psychological aspect can be making you to be having this nightmare. Praise the living Jesus. Number two questions to ask when you have bad dreams is would this dream ever have any effect in my life? You have been having these bad dreams, dreams, negative dreams troublesome dreams, worrisome dreams. Now give to a question. Does this dream ever have any effect in my life? Whether eating in the dream, whether nakedness in the dream, romantic kissing, or laboring in the farm, wandering spirit, you are asking a question. Asking yourself after you wake up from that dream. Would this dream, this bad dream, ever have any effect in my life? On my marriage, in my finances? In my project, you begin to ask this question. If you begin to ask this question or you begin to ask God, God, after you might have known that that dream is bad, begin to ask God, ask the Holy Spirit, would this dream ever have any effect in my life? I believe the Holy Spirit will minister to you. And the Holy Spirit can answer yes or no, depending on your relationship with God. So you begin to ask if this dream will have any effect on your life. But mostly, more than 100% of people, about 60% of people have been having bad dreams. Some of them, they don't even know what the, the spiritual effect of their bad dreams. I pray for you today. 
the Lord will give you the meaning to your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Then number five questions you need to ask yourself when you have bad dreams is, why do I always have bad dreams more than good dreams? Why do I always have bad dreams more than good dreams? Evangelist, many people have been asking me, evangelist, you always think all your, your dreams are bad, 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 bad interpretation. Yes, there are good dreams and there are bad dreams. If you look at what is happening in the world today, you will discover that major part of it is being ruled and controlled by devil. Devil is ruling the affairs of so many people. There are so many false interpreters online now giving you different, different interpretation. I want you to listen and listen very good. The enemy will always come to come and test you. The enemy will always come to come and tempt you. The enemy will always come to come and play with you in the dream. But the Bible says, if you know your God, you shall do exploit. And God has given you that power to fight that battles. Before God will tell you that he will fight the battles and you will hold your peace, definitely the battle will come. During the time of Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, there was battle during the process of the fasting, spiritual engagement. There was fasting. So you must deal with that dream. So the reason why you are having this bad dream is because the enemy wants to pull you down. It's because the enemy wants to scatter your expectation. It's because the enemy wants to make sure that things did not work out well for you. When you are having bad dreams, then it's telling you for you to fight and pray against it so that they will not start being any negative front in your life and the life of your children in Jesus' name. Then number six questions you need to ask yourself when you are having bad dreams is, is it safe to ignore this dream or pray over it? Is it safe to ignore this dream or pray over it? It's a question. I believe that you're, as a child of God, you should be able to pray over your dream. Whether the dream is meaningful, whether the dream is meaningless, whether the dream is positive, whether the dream is negative. The Bible says we should pray without ceasing. Men always to pray and not to faint. So you need to pray over your dreams for you to have constant victory and freedom from all this satanic bondage. Then number seven questions that you need to ask yourself while you have a bad dream is... Uh, why don't I have full control over my dreams? Yes, you are not having full control over your dream for several reasons. The reasons could be as a result of your sin. The reason could be as a result of your prayerlessness. The reason because you are not in a good relationship with God. That is why you are not having full control over your dream. Take for instance, Somebody comes to you in the dream, and that person is carrying a knife, and that person wants to shoot you. The person wants to stab you with a knife. You do not have control over that dream, and the person eventually stab your enemy, not you, to death. Your enemy dies in that dream, and you wake up like, ah, what happened? So that is what they call lucid dream. I'm going to talk about lucid dream very soon on my channel, lucid dream. The fact about lucid dream. So if you are not taking full control over your dreams, then that is a signal that um, the enemy, they are really overpowering your life. Praise the living Jesus. The number eight questions you need to ask yourself when you have a bad dream is, uh, why must I keep having bad dreams at the edge of breakthrough? I have been hearing this from a lot of my brethren. Evangelists have been having this particular dream at the edge of my breakthrough. Ah, eating in the dream. says in the dream. Nakedness in the dream, at the edge of breakthrough. Why must this dream come whenever this project is coming? Why must this dream come whenever somebody is about to do good things in my life? Evangelist, what is the problem? Why must I be having this dream? That is the question you'll be asking yourself. Any bad dream that you have been having, that have been showing, appearing to you, showing their face that we are the one controlling your life, today, by the blood of Jesus Christ, they shall die in the name of Jesus. They shall die in the name of Jesus. Then uh, number number nine reasons you could be number nine questions you need to ask yourself while having bad dreams is would I ever be free? Would I ever be free from having bad dreams? 
Would I ever be free? The question, the answer is yes, you'll be free. God has given us the place for deliverance. God has given the children of God a place for possessing their possession. So if you have been having bad dreams, if you are a child of God and you have given your life to Christ, there is a high chance for you to be free from this satanic nightmare, dream pollution, dream attack. Yes, you need to be asking yourself, what, will I ever be free from the dream? You'll be free because God has come to bring light, to show you the way and to make things work out for you. Then number 10 questions you need to be asking yourself as a child of God when you have a bad dream is, evangelism. how do I stop bad dream permanently? How do I stop having bad dream permanently? These are the questions most people have been asking when they wake up from their dream. How do I even stop this eating the dream? How do I even stop permanently? So it's a question. God will give you the solutions to your nightmares. God will come in and intervene in your matter, depending on your relationship with God. If you ask God something, definitely He will come and deliver you and will give you a solution. The Bible says secret things are being revealed to God. So when you ask God, that, how do I even stop this dream permanently? It can be as a result of breaking away from certain causes. It can be a way for you having a relationship with God. It can be a way for you to build a constant prayer, midnight prayer and fasting. It could be as a result of you, as a result of you having a power, baptizing yourself with the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's a way of you having that full confidence within you that no power can trample upon your life. And I pray for you today. These 10 questions which we have outlined, which the Holy Spirit have outlined for us, it is going to do a lot of good in your life in Jesus' name. If you have been having nightmares, raising from some questions, take this instruction. And back on just three days fasting and prayer between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., then when you are having these bad dreams, begin to deal with that bad dreams. Remove that evil seed in your life. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point with understanding. My Father, prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, my Father, prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Oh Lord, provide an answer to my dreams. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, provide answers to my dreams. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say Every evil power sowing tears into my life, I purge you out in the name of Jesus. I purge you out in the name of Jesus. So, I'm taking that prayer, congratulations. The Lord will answer your dream questions in the name of Jesus. If you have been having some dreams, bad dreams that have been burdening your mind, don't hesitate to write them. Add the comment section. We shall interpret them. My website still remains evangelistjoshua.com. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke, your brother in the school of dream interpretation.